So today I wanted to share with you a fun roadside flip that I ended up working on late last June, July. Surprisingly, it was actually in great condition. So we picked it up and brought it home. Prior to this flip, I had done a lot of pieces in chalk paint, but this time I really wanted to try sanding down the top and exposing the timber underneath. So the transformation process for this piece was first sanding down the top, then painting it in a very soft blue that was complementary to the exposed timber. Then I updated the hardware with something a bit more modern and stylish, and then later staged and styled this piece ready for listing. Unfortunately, when I was working on this piece, I didn't take a lot of footage, but I have some great photos. So this one here shows what the raw top looked like once I'd sanded it down and the finish of a whitewash uh, stain on top. And it looked a lot better and softer and highlighted the grain without it being too yellow and too warm. So once I had finished painting, sanding and sealing this piece, I needed to next stage it. And to really showcase this piece, I really wanted a studio space that would actually really enhance and tell the story of where this piece belonged. My apartment walls almost have that popcorn texture, so I wanted something that would be a flat finish and I found these lovely coastal VJ panelling from my local Bunnings store. So I bought two sheets of this and also a vinyl plank that I could roll out over my carpet because staging on carpet just doesn't look as great. So now that I had the ideal studio space, I just needed to paint these wall panellings and then stage this piece. Ideally, you want to shoot in as much natural light as possible because it's going to really showcase the colour and the piece in the best light. And because I really want to highlight the timber top feature on this, I always make sure that I include an aerial shot overhead. I also will do a front on and side shot. I like to at least include three to four photos just so the buyer has a great understanding of what the piece is and the condition it is in. So thankfully, I did record a little video of this studio setup and I love how well it turned out. It gave it just the right scene of it being in a coastal home and it really showcased this piece to the best light. And it ended up selling for about $600. So not too bad for a free roadside find. So thanks for watching and I look forward to sharing more of my tips and tricks for furniture flipping soon and hopefully we'll also record more videos. So thanks for watching and catch you next time.